You know, Hank Kuhnem and I, uh, we've known each other a number of years, and I, so I get a chance to see someone's track record uh, when they're a prophet. And um, you had a prophecy about a year ago when a president of the United States will die, there'll be a new era for the United States. Tell me about that. It was in October 14th, 2015. The Spirit of God began to prophesy, and he said, look when a former president shall be laid to rest or die. He said, it shall be an end of a thing and a beginning of something new that shall be declared and known as a new era. And then he began to go on. In fact, the news even declared it uh, with George uh, Bush Sr.'s passing. USA News even declared that uh, his passing, uh, just like what the prophecy said, is an end uh, of an era and a beginning of something new. But here's what's powerful about this, Sid, is when the prophecy, October 14th of 2015, three years before, something happened on November 30th is when George Bush Sr. Uh, passed. Something happened that the Lord prophesied three years in advance on that October 14th. He said, when this former president dies, do not be afraid when the soil of your nation shall begin to shake, United States. On the very same day, on November 30th, there was a 7.0 earthquake in Alaska. That's a big earthquake. Yes, and, and, and you notice there was no deaths. Hmm. Because God is trying to say that there is a shaking that is taking place that has to do with the new era. Now think about this. When the Son of God, the Messiah, was on the cross and said, it is finished, there was an earthquake, and it signified a new era. Okay? And so this is very important for us who are wanting to know what God is saying. And the Northern Hemisphere, we are to keep our eye upon it because Alaska isn't just Alaska. Alaska represents the shaking of the Northern Hemisphere for something that God wants. This was the 41st president. 40 is an end of a generation or an end of a season, okay? Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. But then on the 41st day, the Bible says that he came out of the wilderness in the power of the Spirit. And then it also says in Matthew 4, 16, those that sat in darkness saw great light. This that's happening is a great and new era that has to do with an awakening globally, not just for the United States, but for whatever nation you're watching. And it also represents that things that have been, it's not going to be that way any longer. And the Northern Hemisphere is important because, think about this, when Lucifer wanted to usurp his authority over God, he said, I will exalt myself above the congregation seated in the north. The northern territory or hemisphere of the, uh, of the world has always been uh, colder, secular humanism, okay? Uh, Jezebel ruled over, ruled over the northern kingdom. And so North Korea, for example, North Africa, uh, Russia, Europe, United States, all of this is, is representing, in fact, God is getting ready to do something with North America. And there was a sign given also. God said, there's coming with this president a joining of hands with the president of Mexico and the president of Canada. And God says, Mexico, the soil of your land shall shake. Do you know they had, right after that prophecy, a week later, they had a major earthquake in Mexico City. And God is saying that there is something that is happening with this northern hemisphere, even with what just happened, is uh, a raising up of North America the Great. Now, I hear the Spirit of God say this, I walk among the earth at this time, and I'm walking and I'm measuring the hunger and the thirst of those that are of my, my kingdom. But why do you fear, says the Spirit of God, the things that are taking place in the earth? For you must see with my eyes and you must hear with the voice of my Spirit that speaks at this moment. For there shall be a great and glorious move of my hand that shall come upon the northern hemisphere of this earth. For I still hold this earth in my hand, says the Lord. Keep your eyes upon the United States. Keep your eyes upon even North America, for I shall raise it up and cause it to be great. Do not think, United States, that the division that is upon you now shall always be this way. For out of your division shall come a unity, says the Spirit of God. I know what I'm doing. And it was as in the days when there was five loaves and two fish. 
And there was a need among the multitudes. Yet what did I do? Out of the division, I brought forth a unity. And this is what I'm bringing now upon this nation. And watch how I begin to show that my compassion outweighs your politics. Do not be afraid of the things that you are seeing now, for there is a new era that is upon you. What do I mean, says the Spirit of God? I say to you in this season and in this time, there is a movement that has begun in you, United States, that shall be known as a put-it-back movement. And you shall see where they will declare, in God we trust, but there shall be the name of my son declared. And there shall even be a monument that shall be erected in your land. You say, impossible. Watch what I do. For the name of Yeshua shall be declared in a national monument as the name of your God, United States. And this shall be a sign. <laughs> And they shall also declare it in Hebrew. And there shall be prayer that shall come once again. For they said, we have taken God out. It's time that we shall put him back. Do not think that the shaking of your soil is a coincidence. For I am shaking the things that have been held by demonic power. So that I may bring my plan and my purpose at this time. And I will not be stopped. Do you think that a Democratic Party can stop me? The Spirit of God says, I rode on a donkey before. I know how to ride on them too. <laughs> and I know how to take the pride of an elephant and humble them and unite them to bring an end to the division. And yes, listen to me now, says the Spirit of God. I also know how to deal with the stubbornness of a Mueller and his team. And I will not be stopped in my agenda upon this nation, says the Spirit of God. You know, what you prophesy, if I was to just look at the circumstances of this world, I would say, beyond my faith, but God says, not beyond His. God says, all things are possible. So, Stop woeing and mo moaning to yourself about what's going on in America with the morality, the, the divisions, and the racism, and all that stuff. Isn't our God strong enough to shift everything? And it's going to be in our lifetime. It's going to be, well, you saw the next yeah. 12 years. Yeah. In 2016, the Lord actually uh, showed me uh, the next uh, really 12 years that are going to happen in, in, in the United States. And let me just say this. God hasn't changed his mind about making America greater again. And he hasn't changed his mind in, in 2020 and 2024. Now, people automatically want to say, well, what is your prediction? I'm, I'm, I'm a prophetic vessel. Psychics predict. I foretell. And I've been foretelling since 9-11 that God would raise up out of New York a president in the place that we were wounded. It was no coincidence. It was Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump that all came from New York City. Some people say, yeah, but that was supposed to be Hillary or that's supposed to be Bernie. You know why I don't agree? Because uh, the significance of the blood right, okay? Abortion being legalized. We, we got to stop supporting parties that legalize and, and, and gives the spirits of Molech and Baal a right to murder children in the womb. We got to stop supporting parties that are taking away traditional marriage of what God has defined and putting them in power. It's offensive to God and it's grieving to him. And this is part of the put it back movement. This is why, listen, whenever Jesus showed up in a town, whenever the apostles showed up in a town and the glory began to manifest, there was always riots, demonic manifestations foaming at the mouth. Listen, what are we seeing on the news today? Violence, protests, people foaming at the mouth, hatred, division. And we're in a very dangerous place right now because uh, when Y2K happened back in, in, in uh, 1999, the Lord said to me, he said, the spirit of fear is trying to cross the new millennial line ahead of the church. And the church was so caught up in fear that it gave it a legal license to strike our nation by a spirit that we allowed, fear, called terror. Right now in our nation, people are hating on the president. They're, they're being divisive with the Democratic and the Republican. They're fighting the agenda of God. 
And we have to be careful, and those that get on social media and, and say nasty things, it's creating the pointing of finger, it's creating a vulnerability. God forbid that it takes a strike on our nation again, because that's what unified us for a short season, Republican, Democrat, at the expense of innocent people. But this is about a blood right. 9-11, the blood still speaks, the blood of Abel, the blood of Jesus speaks better. God looked at that. This is why abortion needs to stop in our land. It's about to be overturned. It's why we as Christians should have authority. Jesus shed his blood. Now we can bind and loose. So God said, all right, this nation was wounded. We've never been the same. The enemy wants a blood right. He wants a legal right to rule. So God says, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise up someone who's going to be a friend of the church. Whether you like Donald Trump or not, he has empowered Christians. Okay? So... You, so make up a lie. Accuse him of being racist, okay? He has Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece as part of his advisory board. I think there would be a conflict of interest if that was true. I'm so sure. the enemy has to say this. But here's what God does. From New York, he raises up a man who was born in New York City, a place where we were wounded, a man who represents towers, a man who represents world trade. Why? Because God wants us to stop fighting and start recognizing, like in Luke 5, that the power of the Lord is present to heal them. There was power in Luke 5 to heal the Pharisees, but they spent all their time criticizing and judging and falsifying what Jesus was saying, that they didn't discern that there was something that was trying to help them and heal them. And this is what God is saying over this nation. I'm trying to show you that healing is taking place, but you're fighting. You're bickering. You're attacking what I am trying to bring. And in 2016, getting back to what I saw the, the next 12 to 16 years, and God showed me, he, he said to me, he said, Hank, everyone's talking about what matters. This life matters, that life matters, and those things are important. But the Spirit of God said to me, does my heart matter? And this is what I, I'm not here to impress. I'm here to share the heart of the Father, that he is... All it takes is one person to pray. The Lord said one time to me, he said, he said I'm, not, I'm not listening to the prayers of many. Because many aren't praying, they're complaining. But I'm listening to the prayers of a few. And they have caused my hand to come and bring healing upon this land. Let me give you an example. God gave a prophecy at uh, Orlando in uh, 2018 at Mark Sharona's church. And it was the night of the State of the Union. And God said, let me tell you about the State of the Union as I see it. He said, first of all, there, he prophesied that there would be a governmental shutdown, which is what's happening. He prophesied this a year ago, and he said the sign would be also a former president dying. Hmm. But he said, the State of the Union is I'm bringing a prosperity to this nation and for your children. I'm bringing a put-it-back movement to where the generation of our children are going to know the name of their God, and they're going to see the glory of God come upon it. In 2016, when the Lord spoke to me about his heart matter, matter, uh, matter, he said to me, he said, let me ask you a question. What does a nation look like filled with glory? I said, Lord, I can't answer that. He said, when glory comes, things manifest. That's why we're seeing such hatred with the news. We're seeing such demonic attacks and lies that people are going, I don't know what to believe anymore. When glory touches a life or touches a nation, it's like Matthew 17, things begin to change. Are, are we seeing the glory of the Lord will cover the earth, the beginning of it? Yes. That's what I believe, that that scripture is coming about. And in the glory, you know what? Man doesn't get any credit. It's not man the superstar. It's the superstar in man, the hope of glory.